So today I'm going to show you how to make some very simple brownies. No waiting about, so I can eat them straight away. I've cut out a bit of the prep just for simplicity. Um, so we've got about half a cup of butter. We need to melt that. We've got a chocolate bar, which I've pre-cut up. What we're going to do is we're going to save half and we're going to melt half. Keep checking the butter, otherwise you'll end up burning it. There's still a couple of little bits that aren't quite melted, but they'll disappear once you start whisking away. And as always, the trusty spatchy spatch. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt this, bu this butter. We're going to melt the chocolate as well. And then we're going to put... Oh, let's just put this over there. So we've got a big bowl and a spoon for our chocolate. Keep that in there. So we're going to put butter in the bowl, try and get all of it. And we've got some brown sugar to do. What we're going to do is get probably the majority of what's left in this. So what we're going to do Cup and quarter. Of sugar. You can use white sugar if you like. It's the same as you didn't have to use white chocolate for the brownies. I just like white chocolate and things. And a little secret tip to make your brownies extra gooey in the inside. It's not Nutella, but it does the same job. So I tend to put in a big spoonful of chocolate spread in with my melted chocolate. It's got two different flavours in that. So got about three quarters there. It's all melted. Give that another nice start. So we've got a nice marbled looking chocolate. Next, we've got our sugar and our butter in the bowl. Gonna get a whisk. I'm gonna mix it all up. The 
reason I'm using the brown sugar is to give it that caramel taste, just so that there's another layer in brownies. As you can see, it's kind of gone to a, a very wet paste. What we're going to do is we're going to add two eggs. No shells. Winner. So, got our eggs in. Now we need a wee bit of vanilla. Because we want it tasting kind of more chocolatey than vanilla, we're only going to put in a wee bit. So that's about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla. Then we're going to mix it again. Right, now's the fun part. We have a sieve. And what we're going to do is we are going to just get the rest of the sugar out there. This recipe doesn't have a lot of flour in it, so that's how it ends up very, very gooey. So we've got about three quarters of a cup of flour. into the sieve. Cocoa powder, which to be honest I've not got much left so we'll just chuck it all in. Roughly you're looking for about a quarter of a cup cocoa and then lastly salt. Salt is always a good thing to have when baking. Same as when you're doing any cooking, you always season your your meat. That's me. So we'll give it another mix. Just gently. You're wanting to more fold in the flour so you don't over mix it and it becomes cakey. And as you can see, it doesn't take much to mix it. Add in melted chocolate. That's where the spatchy spatch comes in. So you get every last wee bit. Mix that in again. Probably better actually mix it with this. And lastly, the rest of our chocolate is in. So 
So this looks quite runny just now. But it will work out perfectly. So I'm just going to give you a look at this. It's not the most appetising thing to look at. But it will be once it's cooked. So all we're going to do now to get you sitting there. So we're going to take, I think it's about 8 inches for this. We've got baking paper and no scissors. As you can tell I'm well prepared for these. I did have a bit cut up but I think it's a bit small. It's the, the end of my last one. So I want it roughly just bigger than the tin. Now we're gonna try and cut this. Paper. You don't have to grease anything. So push that in. It will pop back up because there's no weight in it. However, it's about to get weighed down. Try and make sure it doesn't go under the paper. Again, it does look a bit runny, but trust me, it works. There we go. The trusty spatula spatch gets everything. Just bang it to knock out any bubbles. It's a bit more dense and then all we're doing is we're sticking it in the oven for about 25 minutes any more than that and it starts to go cakey which if you're wanting gooey brownies not a good thing but I'll show you how it looks once it comes out the oven all right so you're wanting your brownies to look kind of crisp on top as you can hear still sizzling away so it's still cooking which is why we're wanting it to have a little wiggle in it and that was 25 minutes so once this is cooled down a bit, cut it up and hide it away from me because I am a chocolate feet. And also it's a present for somebody else, so I'm not allowed to eat it. But I hope you enjoyed guys. If there's anything in particular that you want me to cook or try and cook, let me know in the comments. I'll get to it. Cheers guys.